this is a hen's egg. This is the kind of shape of egg that we tend to think of as being egg shaped. Of course, birds' eggs occur in all sorts of shapes, from almost spherical to extremely pointed. And for a long time, the reason that birds' eggs are different shaped was puzzled by all this. But last year, a paper in the journal Science claimed to have come up with an explanation for why birds' eggs are different shapes. Another explanation was that it was related to something that the authors called flight efficiency. And the idea was that birds that were particularly well adapted to flight, aerial birds like swallows and so on, tended to produce uh, elongated, more pointed eggs. Uh, but some of us were rather sceptical about that result because flight efficiency really only explained about 4% of the variation in egg shape. So that wasn't uh, terribly convincing. And for the last uh, few years, my colleagues and I, uh, John Biggins, uh, Jamie Thompson, and Bob Montgomery and I, have been trying to come up with explanations for why guillemot eggs are the extremely pointed shape that they are. We came up with a number of explanations. Uh, first of all, before I tell you about those, uh, let me tell you about the existing explanation for why guillemot's eggs are this shape. The first one was, that this um, pointed shape would allow the egg to spin like a top, rotate on its axis. But that idea was mistaken because it was based on an empty eggshell, which is incredibly light. And sure enough, you take an egg from a museum drawer and you can spin it round. The other idea was that an egg that's this shape would roll in an arc when released on the kind of surface. And sure enough, if you take a guillemot egg and roll it on a smooth surface, it will indeed roll in an arc. But that arc is quite big relative to the width of the legs on which these birds breed. The other reason why that rolling in an arc idea isn't particularly convincing is that guillemots invariably position their eggs on ledges with the blunt end in towards the cliff wall, meaning that when it does roll, it rolls outwards towards the um, cliff edge rather than the other way around, which is what you'd expect if, they, if this egg had been designed not to roll in an arc off the cliff ledge. So we came up with a couple of other hypotheses, and one of those was that this shape confers uh, a particular strength on the egg. One of the things that guillemot eggs are vulnerable to is being crushed by other guillemots when birds crash land as they do on, into their dense breeding colonies. And maybe by being this shape, the egg was protected or less likely to break when uh, subject to a sudden impact. That's quite a difficult idea to test, but we've done some theoretical work on this, and there's a hint that there might be something going on there in as much that the, any force on the egg is dissipated across this big flat surface. The second hypothesis we had is that by sitting on a ledge, this shaped egg sits in this kind of position and the pointed part of the egg is the bit that rests in the muck. And guillemot ledges, when it's wet in particular, are extremely dirty. But most of that muck is restricted to the lower half of the egg. And this top part of the egg tends to stay pretty clean. And this is where most of the pores are and this is where the embryo's head is inside the egg, uh, allowing it to breathe. In addition to those two hypotheses, Last year we came up with an additional hypothesis, which I think may be the answer to why guillemot eggs are the shape they are. We noticed that a guillemot egg shaped like this is much better at resting on a steeply sloping ledge than is a razor bill egg. We then conducted a series of controlled experiments in which we placed guillemot eggs and razor bill eggs on ledges of different slope, and it was very striking that the guillemot eggs are much more stable. And I think it's due to this long edge making contact, greater proportion of the egg in contact with the substrate allows it to uh, rest more stably on that ledge. And I think that stability also allows the guillemot parents to manipulate the egg, for example, during changeovers, much more safely than if they were doing the same thing with a razor bill.
We think now that this might be the explanation for why guillemot eggs are this shape. They're simply more stable, they are inherently more stable. And the reason that that's important is that guillemots protect their eggs from predators like gulls and ravens by breeding at very high density. And if you're going to breed at high density, you have to be extremely flexible in the nature of your individual breeding site. So you have to be capable of laying and incubating an egg on a very sloping site. And that's what, exactly what guillemots do. You can see that from these ledges behind it. Razorbills, on the other hand, breed on the individual sites. They can be much more choosy about where they lay. And they, their sites are almost invariably horizontal like this. Their egg does not have to be stable on a sloping edge. So in conclusion, the reason guillemot eggs are this shape, we think, is that they are inherently more stable on a sloping side.